guys, this is your girl Alicia Joya. Thank you for coming to this YouTube video. Today we're going to be doing a vegan shepherd's pie. It's going to be revamped with something else. I usually make it with tempeh um, or I make it with uh, regular grounds, but today I'm making it with vegan sausage. So stay tuned to what is coming next. You did good. You stayed nice. You did good. Before you can get started, you have to soak your cashews for at least two hours before starting. Then you're going to have to peel your potatoes and get them ready and put them on the fire at high heat. And don't forget to add your salt. Okay guys, for this next step, we are going to need your vegan sausage patties. You can use any crumbles, you can use tempeh, you can use ground nuts, you can do anything you like for this particular part. But we're going to use this entire package and it's 16 ounces which is one pound and then it's going to be two stalks of celery and then four maybe small carrots maybe three or two depending on the size of the carrots but this is the amount of carrots it's going to go into we're going to saute this up and we'll see you next on the next clip okay guys get your pan on high heat whether you have electric or you have gas Put at least one or two good sized tablespoons of your vegan plant based butter in the middle of your pan. Let it start to melt and add your carrots and your celery into it. Don't forget to add a little bit of salt to taste and keep stirring. The next one we're going to be going in and adding our vegan crumbles to it after the carrots have slightly caramelized a slight bit and we saute that around a little bit to kind of incorporate the vegan butter into the vegan sausage. You add a little bit of water because sometimes this can get a little bit dry so prevent it from burning you want to add a little bit of water. Set your timer to 375 to get the oven ready so we have it prepped and ready to go. Drain your cashews, which you had soaked for the last two hours, and drain them in cold water. And drain them very well, kind of like get them all the soot and debris off of them. And then let them drain. Now, as they are draining, you are going to get ready to blend them into the mixer here. Oh, we lost one. Oh my goodness, we lost a stray cashew. We're going to put them in the blender and then we are going to go ahead and start to add a little bit of water just under the cashews. Not covering them because it will make the, the, the cashew cream a little too liquidy. We get our blender on as you can see to see where the water line is at. You blendy, 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 blendy. And then we go in and we have to go in and add our salt. I left my mixer on so you guys can see it. And then put the salt in, about a good tablespoon in. In my family, we are watching our salt in our family and we're blending. Now that our grump crumbles are done, our meat, our sauteed veggies are done, I purposely didn't even add any of the peas inside of it because I don't really like peas in mine. Now we're checking our potatoes. They're almost there. Not quite. Not quite. Not quite. Yay! Our potatoes are done. Now it's time to drain them. Yeah, see the mess on my oven. Yeah, we get ready to smush, to smush, to smush. We're gonna smush, to smush, to smush, and make them a little bit of mush. I also left a little bit of the water uh, into the pan to kind of give it that uh, extra creaminess than what you think you need. Then we're gonna add our vegan butter, a good about two or three tablespoons. Add as much as you like because this adds a creamy element to it also will help with the vegan cheese we'll add very soon. Don't forget to add your salt into it. This is another time we can season our stuff. And then we are going to go ahead and start to add our cilantro, our dried cilantro. About a good tablespoon in. Then we're going to go ahead and add our chopped chives very soon. 
about a good tablespoon as well. Then we're going to mixy 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 we're gonna mix 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 and then we're gonna add our beaten cream we're probably gonna add a little bit more than half of it in there and then we're going to mixy 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 I'm using this in replace of any vegan dairy then we're gonna add our bio life to cheddar cheese into it about half the bag and then we're going to mixy 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 just to let it you know melt into the mixture right there I'm gonna add a little bit more cream so I want it a little bit less not as thick I want it to be really 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 creamy because that that uh, liquid will evaporate as we bake it now taste now it's time to spread our mixture into the pan. We add the meat substitute first in the bottom and then we spread our beautiful mashed potatoes all over the top. We use a fork to go ahead and score the top to help with the browning. Just mix it nice and neat. And then we add our vegan cheese on top. This is actually optional. I just like putting it because I live with cheese freaks in my family. Set your time to 35 minutes and put your beautiful baby in the oven. As we go through halfway, you turn it around so it's evenly cooked all throughout. Now we're going to have to add a vegan butter onto this top part because the vegan cheese does not brown like regular normal non-vegan cheese. So you have to add butter to kind of aid into it. It also dries out in the oven so this also adds more moisture and like I said adds more browning into the oven and makes it more golden and delicious. This is our little baby baking. And this is our final baby. This is what it looks like. And this is one piece.